the lights come on. The valley's opening act begins in the middle of the dry season near the banks of the Luangwa River. The principal characters, a troop of yellow baboons. The first performers, the juvenile comedians that bring the carnival to life. Fairs need a ringmaster, a leader who keeps order in the ranks, the troop commander, the biggest, fiercest, dominant male. His high position, a sought-after privilege often challenged by rogue outsiders. In this case, a rival male with serious intentions to depose the leader at any cost. The females of this troop make up the chorus. They engage in the usual activities of baboon society. A definite pecking order exists among them. Rank being a privilege inherited from birth, not gained by strength. They take interest and invest time in the opposite sex. Befriend a male and have a bodyguard for the season. And a mother's club, where membership extends only to females with infants. Two of them produced the troop commander's latest offspring. A black-furred baby, the typical color of newborns. and a white-furred baby, the carrier of a rare gene. The half-brothers, the troop's youngest and most precious possessions, and the heirs of this long lineage of the valley's master survivors. The odd-looking pair attracts much interest. And when the rough handling from their older cousins gets too much to bear, mothers step in. Late afternoon signals home time. The troop regroups for last-minute social engagements. And as usual, the young comedians keep everyone entertained. half-brother is subjected to more grooming while his black sibling practices his acrobatics. But the balancing act does not come naturally to all baboons. <laughs> 